there's currently construction going on outside, so please bear with me during this episode. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. Hey everyone, Duncan here for Menudox and welcome back to another JDA tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to make a Q command which has been requested a lot of times in the comments. So if you have requests for a tutorial as well, make sure to leave it down in the description and let's get started. We can start as always by creating this in our music package, in our commands package. And I'm gonna call this Q command. This Q command implements I command and I command is a class or actually interface that we made earlier in the series. If you have your own structure for the commands, that's completely fine. Then all you need to do is pay attention to the code in the handle method. We're going to set the name to Q. And we're gonna set the help to shows the queued up songs. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a text channel for our command context. And the command context is just a wrapper clause that has our event in it and just wraps around everything. So let's get that. ctx.get channel. This returns a text channel. Next up, we're gonna get the music manager for this gold so player manager dot get instance dot get music manager ct x dot get gold next up we're going to get the queue from the music manager so music manager dot scheduler dot queue and if you have this music manager there should be a playlist on the menu docs youtube channel where you can find the entire music series. Next up, we're gonna say if the queue is is empty, uh, we're gonna return that, and we're gonna send a message to the channel saying that the current queue is empty. Next up, we're gonna define how many tracks we want to show at one time because the embed can't hold up like a thousand tracks, so that's why we need to limit it. You can make your own system like with a menu, like going back and forth in pages. I'm not gonna make such system because that is already way too complicated for this tutorial. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say final int track count. And we're not gonna say q.size, we're gonna say math.min. We're gonna say q size and let's say 20. What math.min does is it looks at the smallest number. So if we have like 10 tracks, we will the track count that will display will be 10. If we have 40 tracks in our queue, track count will be 20. And if we have 50 tracks, the track count will also be 20. Because 20 is smaller than 40, etc. What we're going to do next, we're going to convert the queue to an array list. And we do that so that we can work with it. Because if we don't do this, we can't get stuff at the index. Next up, we're going to send a message. Channel.send message. Double star to make it bold. Current Q bold new line. And we're going to store that in a variable. And what you're going to see right here is probably the best feature of JDA. Because in here, we can just keep appending to this message section. No need for to create a new builder anymore as JDA already has that covered for you. So what we will do is we will say for int i is equal to zero. i is less than track count and i plus plus. We're going to say final audi audio track track and track list of get i the index. Then we're gonna say track.get info and store that in a variable. Next up we're gonna say message action dot append. We're gonna append the pound sign. Then we're gonna append str string.value of i 
plus one, so you get a one based index in that list. After this, we will append a piece of a space and a, one of these things to make like a code line. Then we're gonna append the info dot title. Then we're gonna append space by space and we're gonna append info dot author then we're gonna append two of these code lines with a space and a bracket like this the reason we do it like this and the reason we're gonna do it like this is we're, we're gonna have the time of the track in these brackets so what we'll do is append and let's type in a method that doesn't exist yet so format time is what I'm gonna call it and I'm gonna say track dot get duration next up we're gonna append the closing bracket oh before we do the closing bracket one of these again and a new line you may see it over here says unused return value please show yeah result is ignored that's because we haven't called Q on it if you are annoyed by it, you can just suppress it, but uh, that is normal. IntelliJ warns you about this. Next up, we're gonna have to do a little bit if statement. So if the track list, the track list dot size is greater than the track count, meaning that we can append something to it. So message action dot append and dot append string dot value of tracklist dot size minus track count and we're gonna append to that more and we're gonna say more dot 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 and i think that i'm gonna wrap this in these so it looks a bit better and then finally we can say message action dot you to send the message now if we try to compile this it won't work because this format time method doesn't exist so we can just create that this should return a string and while that is for we now have a quick format time method created it will return a string when we take in the long duration so what we will do is we will split the duration in uh, parts of it. And you don't have to know this code at all because I don't know it either. Duration is called time in millis and it's import time unit. If you want this code, um, pause it and copy it. I'm going to explain it briefly because it's weird code. So what it does, we have this time in millisecond, then we divide it by the time one hour in milliseconds. For the minutes, we're also gonna divide one minute in milliseconds. And for the seconds, we're gonna modulate, modulate it by the minutes, and then divide it by the seconds in milliseconds. And then you get hour, minutes, and seconds. It's weird code, but it works like a charm. So now, so now what we gotta do is we gotta read, that's the command context. So what we need to do now is register the command in our command manager. And now that the command is registered in our command manager, we can go over to Discord and test this command out. Ash, I'm just gonna talk over the loud sounds outside. As you can see, we added a couple of tracks and as you can see, it says null over here because Lava Player broke right as I'm recording. Um, Hopefully I can find a clip of this, but there is a clip. I'm just gonna uh, There is a clip where this is working from a live stream So if I can find that clip, you'll see it right now, and if not you won't see it Um, yeah, 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 YouTube Let's get some no copyrighted music No copyrighted sounds sure sure Let's get a playlist Let's uh, cut my own music. NCS releases. 
Not a good enough sample rate. Um, let's join. Cool, cool. We joined and play. There we go. Uh, there we go. That looks cool. Maybe I'll change this to like a dash. But I like this. I like the way this looks. So it shows the first 20 songs. Maybe I should add a and point dot 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 more. I should definitely do that. So I want to thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. I really hate YouTube right now because they keep breaking their stuff. Subscribe to ManuDocs if you haven't already, and I see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye!